And the CEO of Norfolk Southern was back on Capitol Hill today facing questions about railroad safety. And this comes more than six weeks after his company's train derailed in East Palestine, Ohio, sending toxins in the air. I am determined to make this right. Norfolk Southern continues to make good on its promise to clean the site safely, thoroughly, and with urgency. You have my personal commitment that we will get the job done and we, help, we will help these communities thrive. But one local who testified on Capitol Hill as well wants more than that. NBC's Ryan Noble has the story. When Misty Allison moved her young family to her husband's hometown of East Palestine, Ohio, her idyllic hopes for small town life did not include testifying in front of Congress. I could see a huge fireball from my driveway. In an instant, Misty and her children, ages seven and one, saw their lives turned upside down. And I always say that I never want to move unless something drastic happens. I never thought that would be a train derailing in our town. Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw, reluctant to promise basic changes on things like crew size. Will you commit to a, a two-person crew on all trains? Senator, we're a data-driven organization, and I'm not aware of any data that links crew size with safety. Do you disagree with Mr. Whitaker when he says that it would have been far worse? His testimony is loud and clear. It would have been worse if there's only one person uh, as a crew on that train. Do you, do you disagree with him? Senator, I believe that we have operations infrastructure on the ground to, to respond to derailments. I think you're not answering the question. Frustrating for Misty, whose son now dodges mud puddles, fearing they're contaminated, and his friends have invented ways to process their trauma. Kids are now playing a game that they created called evacuation during recess, um, where they pretend that they're packing up their stuff and then running around on the grass because they can't play on the playground. She believes only a generational commitment will allow her community to survive. There are various pieces of legislation making its way through the House and Senate right now as it relates to reforming rail safety. And at this point, Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw has yet to endorse those plans in totality. But Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown told me something will eventually pass with or without Norfolk Southern's support. Gotti. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.